Hey guys, I am Carlos Vivas and here's another practical live web tutorial. Check out what I have here in my timeline. I created all these nodes using a very cool memo system, something that's going to help you to organize your animations in Lightweight 3D. Let's check it out. Okay, first of all, let's go to the DStorm web page. I'm going to leave the link in the description of this video and let's download this plugin right here. It's called YS Layout Kit B and it's actually, there's three plugins in this file, but when you open the file, you're only going to see one plugin, even though there's three plugins included in this file. So just go ahead and install it in Lightwave. And after doing so, you're gonna find the plugin in the master plugins window. Now check out what happens down here when I open the plugin. Down here, let's hit it. There it is. So there's the first track right there. And, um, you can have as many tracks as you want. Uh, let's uh, create a clip right here. So I create a clip. Right here is my clip. And let's uh, let's give a name to this clip. Let's call it like something like action one maybe. Okay. So here I'm going to change the color of the font and here the color of the background, but I'm gonna leave it just like that. Now let's check out here Let's change the length of the clip right here. It's gonna give it something like 30. And now how about if we create another clip right here and I'm going to rename it, the new clip. Let's put it action two. And now let's move it and change the length a little bit. And let's change the color in this case, something like yellow. Okay, cool. So here I have the track and this is where my tracks are going to go. And you know what? Actually, let's give a name to this track. Let's call it uh, character one or something like that. There it is. So we can create as many tracks as we want and we can move them up and down from here. So how about if we create another track and let's name it. Let's put it something like character two. Great. Uh, let's create a couple of clips for this character. So for that, I'm gonna move my timeline right here and let's create another clip. And this is for character two, of course. And let's call it jump. Okay, I'm gonna change my font color and for my background, I'm gonna do like a blue. There it is. I can move from the starting point, my note right here, anywhere I want. And how about if we create one more clip for this one? Let's just create another clip right here. Let's call it, um, I don't know, like falling or something like that. There it is. Okay, let's change the color. So as you can see, you know, you can customize everything here. And uh, this is a really nice way to organize your workflow when you're animating. Uh, you can create as many tracks as I mentioned before. And you can actually, if you want to hide everything, you just go to the plugin and just disable the plugin. There it is. How about if we delete all those tracks that we created from here? And from here, you select your tracks. So I can just, I don't know, select number one and let's delete that one from here. It's gone now. Now let me just create it back because I want to show you something. Character one, there it is. And let's create another clip for this track, this new track. Let's give it a name, jump. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm short of names today, actually. <laughs> so, okay, let's select the character. Let's select character one, let's say. And from this checkbox, you enable or disable your tracks. So right now, character one is hidden and I put it back. Now it's character two is hidden. And from up here, you save all your notes or your settings. Now you don't need to save anything externally because when you save the live web scene, everything gets saved. Now, that being said, you can actually load any settings from any scene in the traditional load from scene method with Lightwave uh, right here. Here's the plugin. This is a new scene. And now we have everything in this new scene. We imported that. Now, I also want to mention that actually Lightwave has its own markers and you open the dope track and let's go to this frame right here. And I'm going to right click here and as you can see, I can create a marker. 
and I can also give it a name uh, right here. Okay, let's give it a name, maybe jumping. And the only way for me to see the name is right here when I get to my frame and I see it in this little window. And I mean, it's cool and everything, but I think this other system is way, way superior. I've been using this in production and it really, really helps. Okay guys, that's it for today. More practical LIGO tutorials coming, so don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much and I'll see you soon.